All right, with this video, I'm gonna help you out to make sense of this whole coding world once and for all. And by the end of it, you'll know exactly what to do to actually get paid, okay? Because let's be honest here, you don't wanna just fuck around for two, three years learning stuff. You wanna get paid as fast as possible, right? And when I say as fast as possible, I don't mean it as a get rich quick scheme because there are things that you can do that will get you to a place where you can actually make decent money with coding in let's say one year instead of taking three years, right? Because have you ever been to the gym, like especially on 1st of January when these people with uh, New Year's resolutions come in and they're flooding the gym and after like two, three weeks, maybe even two, three months, of working out and dieting they look exactly the same they haven't lost a pound even worse maybe they've added some extra weight and they are gonna give up and quit and this same thing happens with coding as well believe it or not actually you don't have to believe me you can just do some research and you'll see that i'm right so i want you to understand this concept of uh seasons okay very very important so um when farmers plant you know seeds and they they want to get a crop and they they, they want to harvest corn let's say they split the year into four seasons but the most important ones are uh, the first three right which are which is spring you have summer and then you have um, uh, autumn right so during spring what farmers do is they prepare the soil they move it right so they can actually plant the seeds they plant the seeds, they put fertilizer, which is like animal uh, waste, right? And uh, they are trying to make the soil extremely fertile, so then they can improve the likelihood of having a, a great crop, right? And uh, to have their uh, plants develop in the right way. Now that's the first season, that's what's happening in uh, spring. Then you have the summer. Right? because you cannot just plant some seeds and wait for the seeds to uh, miraculously uh, grow as big as they could or as healthy as they could. So you have to remove the weeds, you have to water the seeds, the plants, you, know? you have to take care of that crop, of course. And then in the last season, if the, the year was favorable, if there was enough rain or enough sun and whatnot, then the farmers will pick, you know, um, with their plants, they, they'll, they'll harvest, you know, everything and they'll, they'll go ahead and sell it and make some cash. That's kind of how farming works. In a nutshell, of course, I'm not a farming expert. And a career in coding works exactly the same. So you have the first season, right, where you actually have to learn, right? You have to learn. And this is where most people are, are stuck, actually. They go to platforms like Free Code Camp, Code Academy, Project Odin, Zero to Mastery. How did I say Code Academy? All these platforms and resources that are out there are focused 100% on, on learning. And some are better than others. I haven't done any research recently into them because, in my opinion, they all suck. And that's why I've created my free group which you can access by clicking the second link in the description and there you will have an html and css course and a javascript course so you can get started with coding as fast as possible and in three months you'll be making more progress than by following any of those platforms combined and on top of that we'll have a free weekly mentorship call where i'm going to help you out overcome any kind of problem you have again for free click the second link in the description but that's the first season and and everyone stops there and everyone blows the horn of these platforms i know there is the bold guy who says you should go there and you should always learn this they, they are like swearing on these platforms but they don't understand how learning works right or how this whole transformation works you don't have just learning you have learning and imagine you are trying to become a piano player you first learn by how to place your uh, thumbs and fingers on the keys, right? You learn finger placement, you learn how to make different moves, I guess. I have no idea how piano 
playing works. But I, I hope you understand. And then once you understand and memorize, you know, uh, how to play the piano, then you can start learning some songs and then you can freestyle, right? Coding works exactly the same. You have to first learn how to build applications, like basic applications, you know, like the to-do app, calculator, a random code generator, random password generator. You need to understand data and how that works. That's in the learning phase, right? You learn React and the basics of React. And you start to think in these new programming paradigms, okay? Uh, and this should take maybe three, maybe six months. Then, once you understand those things, you do not go ahead and apply to jobs because you'll be annihilated. You are gonna be destroyed, okay? That's what most people are doing wrong. They stop at this level and they go and apply like maniacs and they get zero results and then they blame everyone but themselves. It's like me it's trying to make a YouTube channel and I never try to improve my storytelling or my speech or my thumbnails or my titles or my concepts. It's like I'm trying to make 10 videos and if I am not blowing up after 10 videos, I'm gonna quit. No, you have to keep making videos. You have to improve the videos and you have to think why a video went right, why a video went wrong and how you can improve. And coding works exactly the same. It's Coding is not different, okay? These geeks make it sound like it's such a an amazing thing it's not it's simple but it takes time to master right and that's the key component time most people learn some some basics and they think that's enough and they never spend the time okay to build something because that is the second season the summer season where you have to water and clean the weeds as your seeds as the seeds that you planted in the beginning as you were learning start to grow okay i want you to wrap your head around this concept because if you will not wrap your head around this concept you'll become a victim of coding okay and there are um so many people that simply don't get it we are in a very competitive market and it's not only coding being competitive so take this idea out of your head thinking that coding is the hardest thing to get into because i'm sick and tired of hearing this <clears throat> Coding is as hard to get into as any other industry and any other profession that is worthwhile, that's gonna pay you money and is gonna get you some benefits, which is working remotely, being able to develop yourself, because when you start to make money, you can start investing into yourself, you can become healthier, you can get assets, you can start building a business because you have time and money, and then you can start working your way up towards that financial freedom that I actually you know, built for myself, right? But you need to start by grinding it out and understanding that coding is made to provide some sort of value to the world okay it's not about you stop thinking that this stuff that you're doing is for you it's not it's a way to improve your value for this world especially in this era where everyone can have access to chat gpt and whatnot and everyone becomes lazy as fuck and they stop having skills if you can lock in and really learn something and you learn how to focus and you learn how to be disciplined and if you learn how to achieve your goals you'll be an absolute weapon i can pretty much guarantee you that and i know that it's very difficult for you to trust me because i'm a guy on the internet and i'm also romanian um but think about it from the first principles point of view okay what does a software engineer do it engineers software. What is software? Where is an application? What's an application? It's some sort of product that is meant to solve some problems. So if your code is not solving any problem or it doesn't look like it could potentially solve any problem, then everything you've learned, it's useless. You need to learn, apply, and then you profit, right? There are seasons to this game and they need to understand in what season you are in. So many boot campers, and self-taught developers will simply not understand this and then they will fail and they will spend the next three years spinning in circles while this industry gets even more competitive and they'll still use the same resources as everyone else and they are wondering why are they not standing out it's absolutely insane right so you're doing the same thing as everyone else 
and then you're wondering why am I not standing out it doesn't make any any sense whatsoever so start thinking about how you can improve and then you'll be an absolute savage if you need help with starting your journey as a developer and if you want to see a real program that's going to help you learn this stuff for real without messing around click on the second link in the description again we have a community there we have free courses or i have for you free courses sorry i hit my head on this and um, i'm gonna run a live mentorship call in there okay so i can help you out going through this course there are people that are paying me thousands of dollars to have this call and i'm offering it for you for free for two reasons first of all i want to show you that i'm the real deal that i'm a g and the second reason is to gain your trust so and if you are the right person then you can become part of my paid mentorship program where i'm gonna actually show you the whole process because we don't even have a portfolio in my program in my mentorship program we don't have that we have an application that my students have been working on for months and they're using that as work experience okay and uh, they are you know putting a couple of years on their resume so they look like they are looking for their second job rather than they are looking for their first job because if you have a portfolio you're a noob but that portfolio apps that people put in their um, resume right uh, those are for learning that's why they are not getting hired and they will never get hired this era of let's be self-taught and learn for free and learn from these platforms is gone okay i want you to understand that so you are either willing to spend money to either get a degree or to get a mentor because otherwise i don't see how you can make it you have to be an absolute genius and most of you and <laughs> me myself would not be able to make it in this uh, new era if that makes sense because the game has changed for the better right the standards are higher that means uh, uh, the gates are harder to pass that means we'll be making more cash so that's it for today